Hello, my beautiful YouTube family. It's Julie and Charlie with Julie's Pages. Uh, today, we are just going to wing it. <laughs> I haven't really fully planned this video out. There'll be no cash stuffing or anything like that. We're going to do our sixth six month checkup. So, I never really wrote any goals down in January. I'm not fully a goal person per se. I don't like writing them out because they never really happen and then I get frustrated and you know, all the things. So we're gonna start, this is my happy planner notebook that I keep track of things. This is, I created this in Canva for our six month checkup. I will zoom you in so you can see a little better. I just listed all of our sinking funds, what we started with on January 1st, the total amounts we deposited, the total amounts we withdrew, and what the ending balance was at the end of June. Um, I'm not gonna go through each and every single one. I don't know if you'd want me to. Let me know down below. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's just, it was just an idea I had watching some other people and I thought, hmm, I want to see what I was, where I was at because I never really do this. I mean, I keep track of it monthly, but I never look at the full picture. So, so like for school, we started with $404. We deposited a total of 510 and then took out 905. So we ended with nine, which, you know, I knew that was going to be a big one because it was senior year for Haley. So uh, Volkswagen insurance was due in March, and we're starting to save back again for that. Um, so most of these are ones that are our yearly expenses. Um, there's not really many, like, well, car maintenance I just started a couple months ago. That's going to be revolving. There's no end date for that one. Um, Christmas, there's no, I mean, there's an end date. It's December, but I like to save all year long for that. Um, yard is going to be revolving because that's when we need stuff for the pool and the garden. Savings is always going. Um, planner things. I don't really have an end amount in sight. Not really sure. I don't want to think about how much I spend on planner things. Um, same with, I started saving for my YouTube channel, but that's kind of gone away. Not really sure what I want to do with that yet. Um, let's see, Bella with the fur babies, or I should say Bella and the fur babies, that's ongoing for vet visits and doctor bills, vet visits and doctor bills, goodness gracious, vet visits and then like Bella's heartworm medicine and flea and tick and that type of stuff, the cat's foods and shots and whatnot. Uh, so we started with $195, we put in $425 so far, and we've taken out $542, so we have $78 left in there. Uh, vacation is ongoing, I really should buck that up because we're wanting to go somewhere, I think at Christmas. I don't even know if you can see or if Charlie's blocking everything. <laughs> um, birthdays are ongoing, the most important birthdays are in January and October, so... We have some time between those. Um, escrow is every year, because we live in Florida, our home insurance goes up. Our taxes haven't really gone up, knock on wood, but um, our home insurance goes up every year. And I wanna try to keep from our mortgage payment going up. So putting money in that. I did just start our month ahead binder this year too. So we've got 106 in there. I only fund that from many Mondays, so that's not not a bad. So in January we had one thousand one hundred forty-one dollars. We put in a total of two thousand eight hundred seventy-three dollars, and then we withdrew a total of two thousand three hundred and nine. So right now, at the end of June, we were at one thousand seven hundred and five dollars. So we are in the positive by $564 from January. So to me, that's good. Um, and then I just wanted to show we have earned $59.16 in interest so far 
Um, you know, we are a cashless uh, budgeter. We put everything on our credit cards and keep all of the savings in the high yield savings account. Um, I have quite a few different accounts because it's broken down, but this is our money making money for us. So there's that. And then flipping over for our debt. The only debt we have are our, um, the only debt we have is the Durango and our second mortgage. We started in January at $58,107.07. Um, altogether, we've made $4,665 in payments. $3,054.57 of that went to principal because the Durango, ev almost everything goes to principal. Our interest rate is really good on that. So we ended at the end of June at $55,052.50. So that is awesome. I love being under eight for the Durango. So that is scheduled to be pay out, paid off quickly. Then, so I did decide to write some goals for the other half of the year. I just wrote some kind of broad ones just to see how it goes. And then, you know, we'll take it a day at a time and see how this goes for us. So I want to finish funding all our sinking funds that are due for the rest of the year. It's kind of a no brainer there. I'd like to get that done. Um, continue our low and no spend months. Um, we're getting better on that. And I want to continue working on our month ahead binder because I would like to get fully a month ahead by this time next year. Uh, I want to start a Ko-Fi page or a coffee page, however you say that. Um, I'm working on that. I have my page set up. Uh, I just haven't really posted anything on it yet, so I'm working on that. Uh, for the rest of the year, I want to use up the planner stickers that I already have, with the exception of I need just a couple. Let's see. Get all Charlie's hair off. I still need, like, a Labor Day kit, Patriot Day, Halloween, Veterans Day, that type of stuff. I've used all those, so... Other than that, I don't plan on really buying any other planner stickers except for my budget planner because I need those. <laughs> um, speaking of budgeting, I want to work on my 2025 budget sheets because I think next year I'm going to create all of my own and be able to disc punch them and use uh, my Happy Planner covers and dividers. Um, I'm not in love with the system I have now with Erin Condren uh, Monthly Planner. It's still, I don't like not being able to take my pages in and out and add to them and only limited by what's in the book. So I've been working on those. I want to finish those, get those done in the next couple of months. Uh, and then the biggest is I really just want to stay in budget for Christmas this year. <laughs> so... We've come very close. Um, last year, I think we were only like $120 over budget. So I did increase our budget for this year and I'm hoping that we will be able to stay in budget for that. So that is our six month checkup. And then the other thing I did was I created, cause I got curious uh, about how many savings challenges I had finished. So I wanted to create this page. Um, so I listed out the months and then this is the number of mini Mondays we completed, number of micro Wednesdays, freebie Fridays, our Christmas binder, pets binder, the total we completed for that month. If we did a randomizer, because if you've been here with me since, if you've been with me since the beginning, we used to do a randomizer every week uh, with certain dollars. So like January is $100 for the entire month. Um, so I wanted to keep track of those and this was a total amount saved. So June was by far our best month so far. Uh, we say we completed 23 challenges. We did do a randomizer, but we used some of the challenges. Thank you, Charlie some of the challenges to do the randomizer and we saved a total of $512. Um, 
In May, we saved $381. So those two have been our most amount saved. So I just wanted to, a sheet I could look at and see, Charlie, what are you doing? You don't fit back there, buddy. <laughs> I just wanted an overview of the challenges that we've been doing. Um, because the other way that I do it is I use, let me see if I can find it. Where is it? I use these savings challenge checkers from, it used to be the, oh goodness, the butterfly. I use, let me see if I can find it. Where is it? I use these savings challenge checkers from, it used to be the, Oh goodness, a butterfly, digital butterfly, or I can't read. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, I can't read that. That's too tiny. But I'll link her down below. She had these freebies. I don't know if they're still free or not, but it's just a challenge name, the date started, date completed, and the total saved. So I like to keep track of them that way, but I wanted an overview. So that was why I created this sheet. So that is my six month checkup uh short and sweet um although one of my subscribers has been with me since the beginning said that she does it every three months so she can look at the budget and if she needs to change some things out she can truly really got dust on your whiskers uh so i think i'm gonna go to quarterly because it actually it makes sense and I've budgeted for years and years and years. Um, we've never, we did use cash way back in the day, um, but then we stopped and I like the credit card method. It just works for my family. Um, but I never really kept track per se of exactly how we were doing month to month and quarter to quarter. So uh, that's gonna be one of the goals too, is just to start going quarter by quarter and. That way we can adjust things that need to be adjusted. So, all right, once again, I appreciate each and every one of you for watching, taking time out of your day to see what we're doing, to follow our journey. Um, you guys are amazing. From the bottom of my heart, I am so grateful to have found this community. So I know it was a cash stuffing or anything. It's probably pretty boring to some people, but I wanted to document it anyway. So there we are, six month check-in. We will see you at the end of next quarter and see how we're doing. Check in on those six month goals. Um, you guys take care, be kind, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.